In the last video we calculated the Maclaurin series of e to the x. Now let's consider the trigonometric function sine of x. So let's determine the first three non-trivial terms of the Maclaurin series of sine of x. So in this case our function f of x equals sine of x. And our first step is to evaluate the function at the point zero. So f of zero equals sine zero, which equals zero. Now our next step is to calculate a derivative. So in this case, calculating the first derivative, f dash of x, equals the derivative of sine of x, which gives us cos x. And now evaluating this derivative at zero, we have f dash of zero equals cos zero, which equals one. Now getting the next derivative, we have that f double dash of x equals the derivative of cos x, so minus sine x. And evaluating this derivative at zero, we have minus sine zero, or simply zero. Getting the next derivative, we have that f triple dash of x equals minus times the derivative of sine x, so minus times cos x, so minus cos x. And evaluating this derivative at zero, we have minus cos zero, or minus one. So now we've calculated two non-zero terms. Calculating the next derivative, we have f4 dash x equals minus times the derivative of cos x, so minus, minus sine x, so equals sine x. And evaluating this at zero, we have that f4 dash at zero equals sine zero, which equals zero. So if you look closely, you can see that in fact, there is a cyclical pattern emerging here. We started off with sine of x, we evaluated it at zero to get sine of zero equals zero. After four differentiations, we got down that f4 dash x was sine x, and again evaluating this at zero, we get zero. So what do you think our next term is going to be in the McLaren series? From our previous pattern, we expect that the next term will evaluate to give us 1. So double checking that, f5 dash of x equals the derivative of sine x, which is cos x. And evaluating this derivative at 0, we get cos 0, which does indeed give us 1. Now the Maclaurin series of a function f of x is given by f of 0 plus f dash of 0 over 1 factorial by x plus f double dash of zero over two factorial by x squared, plus f triple dash of zero over three factorial by x cubed, plus f four dash zero over four factorial by x four, plus f five dash of zero over five factorial by x five, and so forth. So the function evaluated at zero gave us zero, f dash of zero is one, so one over one factorial by x, plus f double dash of zero, which is zero, over two factorial by x squared, plus f triple dash of zero, which is minus one, by x cubed, over three factorial, plus f four dash of zero, so zero, over four factorial, by x to the four, plus f five dash of zero, so one, over 5 factorial by x to the 5. So here you can see we have some zero terms which will cancel out. And we're simply left with 1 over 1, so 1, so x, plus multiplied by minus x cubed over 3 factorial, so minus x cubed over 3 factorial, plus x to the 5 over 5 factorial. Notice that when we get the Maclaurin series of sine of x, all the powers of x are odd. That is, x to the 1, x to the 3, x to the 5, etc. Similarly, it turns out that in the Maclaurin series of cos of x, all the powers of x are actually even. That is, x to the 0, x to the power of 2, x to the power of 4, and so forth. So as an exercise, show that the first three non-trivial terms of the Maclaurin series of cos of x is given by 1, 
minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial. This is done in the exact same approach as we just did for sine of x.